Do you hear me? This so, is okay, let's, let's cut the whole story short. Yes. Uh, we've got a right of admission. I don't condone this in my mouth. So, you can look full like it. I'm, I'm saying it. here it's in Africa. Yeah, this is Africa. Then you, you can't tell someone what to do or what to wear at which mall. It's a public place. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You are dressing decently. Oh, this is not decently. This is not decently. That's what you are saying. This is not. This is not. This is what you are trying to say. This is not decent. It's not decent. Oh, the, the way you wear it now is is decent. That's what you call descent. You, you are wearing Western. I'm wearing African. This is African. Africa. This is African. You are called Gigi to come. Call Gigi. Call Gigi. You are telling me I'm not supposed to, to wear African in Africa. I'm saying. What I'm saying. Oh. This is a public place. You can it doesn't matter. It doesn't we, we have a right to wear what we want to wear. Okay. You don't have to explain to us what. what I'm not allowing that. This is my mall. This is your mall. Okay, nice then. Lack of admission, it's reserved. For who? For who? For who? For who? Is there when you enter? Yeah, but you're not saying if you're wearing your traditional stuff. Yes, yes. Okay, copy, copy, copy. Just goes up and then he can do whatever he do. He's walking around Momo this is traditional. This is traditional. Where do you come from? Mr. Butis, 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 what a disappointment this is sad i tell you sad it be your own people sometimes i swear like when they are compromised there is no saving them for an african man to look at another african man that has his traditional attire on and then call it indecent indecent how how is this indecent? Like this man is fully covered up. This is not a matter of indecency. It's a matter of him feeling that the dressing is inappropriate because it's African. But of course, the suit he has on is appropriate and decent because he's walking around with a colonized mind. It's people like this that demonizes African cultures and traditions as well, calling them barbaric, backward, uncivilized, indecent, and, you know, on cows, whatever word they want to use, because they've bought into that European colonized mindset, because they are like, as I said, far gone, compromised, and there is no saving people like this. So this story is from South Africa. This incident actually happened sometime in March last year, but this video is presently making the rounds on TikTok, and that was how I found out about it. This man walked into Click's pharmacy slash department store at the Boulders shopping center, but then he was approached by this man in red who happened to be the center manager that told him that he was dressed indecently and had to leave. At first, when I saw this clip, I thought the man in the red suit was the owner of the mall because he said, I don't condone this in my mall. I don't condone this in my mall. Your mall? Come to find out that man isn't the owner of the mall. He's the manager. Now, that was disappointing because I thought we were dealing with an owner here because the level of audacity, I've been at entitlement, I've been at the two together. Now, when this went down, Clicks released a statement on their Twitter account, and this is what they said. Clicks Mildran Boulders did not ask a customer dressed in Indibele traditional wear to leave the Clicks store. The center manager of Boulders, accompanied by Boulders Center Security, entered the Click stores and demanded that the customer leave. The Click store manager intervened and asked the center manager to leave. The customer was allowed to continue shopping. We are extremely embarrassed by the center manager's behavior and will be putting in a formal complaint. The center manager was totally out of order and he did get suspended for his behavior. He got dragged badly, as you can imagine, for good reason, of course. And he's still getting dragged, by the way. Like I said, this video is presently making the rounds on TikTok. Anti-Africanness and anti-Blackness has been so deeply rooted in some of us that 
it's sickening. Like, it's sad to watch when you see it play out sometimes. And the saddest part is that I know, and this really gets to me, if it had been someone from a different non-African culture that had walked into that mall dressed in their traditional attire, he would not have had any issue with their traditional attire or asked them to leave or thought it was indecent. Let's say if it were an Indian that walked in with a sari on, he would not have asked the Indian to leave talking about how it's indecent or if it's a Korean that walked in with a handbook or something. He would not have felt that their traditional attire was indecent and asked them to leave like he did to this brother here. Last, last, they need to take some of us to therapy or something because we need to unpack this self-hate that we have and we are carrying around, this anti-blackness, xenophobia, tribalism. It's, it's mad, it's sickening, it's a disease that we need to get rid of, like now. And for those wondering, this is the man right here, the center manager, Mr. Jose Maponiane. South Africans, I'm so sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. Let me know down below in the comment section how I should have pronounced it. Thank you. And this applies to the next name I'm about to pronounce. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I hate butchering people's names. And on the other hand, the man in the traditional attire who unfortunately had this embarrassing encounter is Mr. Tando Malangu. He is an Indibele activist, author, and television presenter. It's an annoying incident and worse to see that it's one of you that's doing that. This tweet says, people go to the malls and other public places wearing bomb shots and other revealing clothing and it's never indecent. This gentleman is not even naked. He's even adhering to the Rona regulations by having his mask on. This mall must be boycotted at all costs. Well, now for that ending right there, this brother must have thought that it was the mall or the you know click store that had made that role. But we know right now that it wasn't the mall or the click store. It was all the manager, the center managers doing. Had it been Heritage Day, this guy would have been allowed to enter the mall and shop freely. So does being an African only applies in September? People walk in the mall with their faces covered because it's their tradition and no one says nothing. Exactly my point, as I was saying earlier. If it's other cultures, other non-African cultures, it's okay. But then when it comes to African cultures, you would see some Africans, now they have something negative to say. This tweet says, tribalism at its best. What happened here explains why a black man is always looked at as a suspect. Yeah, the anti-blackness, the xenophobia, the tribalism, the anti-Africanness is deeply rooted in some of us. And like I said, we need to share that. We have a lot of work to do as a community worldwide. Like so many negative traits we've taken on during colonization, we continue to perpetrate and promote. We need to change all of this. It's bad, it's negative, it's toxic, it's you know, it's making the ancestors just roll in their graves, literally. And on this note, guys, I'm going to end this here. I just want to bring this story to you guys since, like I said, it happened last year, March, but it's presently making the rounds again. And it's a relevant topic we need to talk about because it's a serious issue in our communities that needs to be addressed, right? So I'm going to be leaving it here. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about the situation. I wish you all a very lovely, blessed week ahead. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't condone this in my mouth, so you can look full like it.